Lindsay and I are here today to talk to you about the most common endocrine disease that affects older cats. It's hyperthyroidism. The endocrine system is responsible for secreting various hormones within the body. Hyperthyroidism is, a, is specific to the thyroid gland and is caused by excessive production of the hormone thyroxin. The thyroid is responsible for controlling the body's metabolism. Hyperthyroidism is caused by an abnormal growth of one or both of the thyroid glands. The reason as to why this happens is unknown. Some of the symptoms are weight loss despite a huge appetite, increased thirst, increased litter box usage, neglecting normal grooming habits, and a rapid heartbeat. Okay, I know what you're thinking. My cat drinks a lot, my cat eats a lot, or my cat uses a litter box all the time. But the only way you can know for sure is to visit your vet for a checkup. They'll run blood tests and urine tests. It could be one of many other conditions, so don't jump the gun and think it's hyperthyroidism. Okay, so there's three treatments available for you, and between you and your vet, you will find the most appropriate. There are oral medications, surgery, and radioactive iodine treatment. Let's look at each one. Chair? Thanks, Lindsay. So the first option available to you is oral medications, and this means giving your cat a pill one to three times daily. So if you have any problems with pilling a cat, you're soon going to learn fast, and you're going to become a pro at it. Secondly is surgery, and this basically involves removing those enlarged thyroid glands. Most cats still have enough thyroxin left over from the thyroid cells to prevent hypothyroidism. Your final option is radioactive iodine treatment. Now this isn't performed at every clinic and it is more costly than the first two options. What happens is radioactive iodine is injected intravenously, killing off the abnormal thyroid cells but sparing the healthy ones. A lot of pet owners prefer this option because it's non-invasive, no general anesthetic is used, and it's very effective in treating hyperthyroidism. On a final note, as part of your cat's ongoing treatment, you will have to have their T4 levels checked via blood test on a schedule determined by your vet. While this is a very common disease, it might sound a little bit scary if your vet has just told you that your cat has hyperthyroidism. Don't worry, it's completely treatable and you and your cat will have many happy years together. Just remember, regular vet visits. Thanks, Lindsay. So the first option... <laughs> Thanks, Lindsay. Secondly is surgery, and this basically involves, sorry. <laughs> Secondly is surgery, and this basically involves removing the enlarged, <laughs> okay. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Hyperthyroidism is specific to the thyroid gland, which is caused by excessive production of the hormone <laughs> Hormone. Hyperthyroidism is specific to the thyroid gland and is caused by an excessive production of, hor of the Hyperthyroidism is caused by an abnormal growth. <laughs> <laughs>